Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this little pom-pom period inspired scrunchie. I absolutely love how it's turned out. I've seen a few of these floating around on Instagram as they're new in like the Sanrio stores. I know they did these a few years ago as well because I was going to buy a couple. I know that recently there has been like a Tuxedo Sam one added as well and I am super, super obsessed. But I just made this little pom-pom period one as I had the yellow fabric on hand and thought... I'm gonna make that. It's like the cutest thing ever. Look at this. Isn't it so sweet? Look at all of this. Oh, I just love it. So yeah, I'm just gonna get straight on into the video. So the first thing I did was cut out a five inch strip of this yellow plush fabric. This plush fabric is one by Shannon Fabrics and it's in the shade Banana. The reason I cut a five inch strip is because I wanted my scrunchie to be two inches wide and obviously you need that doubled up and then you need about an inch or so to be able to sew on and have a seam allowance. In order to make this into a scrunchie, I just wrapped it around a hair bubble that I already had and I just started stitching away. So I started in the corner to begin with, stitching in and out and in and out, just using a regular stitch and then I just kept moving it on and like scrunching it up around the kind of bubble already. And as you can see here, it's quite fiddly but to be honest, it's really easy if you just focus on the outside kind of bits that you're sewing. It does look a little bit intimidating but all you need to do is move it around as you are sewing and you will be absolutely fine. You just kind of forget about the bit you've already sewn and it all comes together in the end. You want to keep stitching and stitching until you basically get to the end and once you do you then want to tie off your kind of thread and turn it the right size way round. You just want to poke it inside of itself so that the like nice plushy fabric is pointing on the outside. If you don't want to sew this, you obviously can use fabric glue, hot glue, anything you want to. I recommend sewing it because it is always comfortable to like not have hard bits of glue and everything in your scrunchie. But obviously, if you don't want to sew, you don't have to. In order to seal the end of the scrunchie shut, you want to post one end inside the other. You might want to make sure to like tuck the fabric in on itself so you have a nice neat edge. And then you just want to stitch that down into place. Again, if you're not sewing, you can just glue this down if you want to. To make pom pom purins a little berry, what I went ahead and did was took a little off cut of this like dimple fabric. I know this has different names in different countries, but I don't know, I just call it a dimple fabric. It's got like little dots on it. It's just a type of plush fabric that's using like baby quilts and stuff, but I seem to have a lot of off cuts in my fabric collection just because I love fabric. So I went ahead and used that and made sure when I cut a circle out, I had one of the little dimples in the middle so that it acted as the little kind of bit on Pom Pom Purin's berry. I then put that circle onto like right sides together onto another piece of brown fabric and then just stitched around it in a circle shape. I then tied off my thread and then cut all the excess of fabric off and then turned that shape inside out again so that it had the right sides facing outwards and all of those ugly seams and rough edges were encased inside. Obviously I'm not expecting everyone to have this dimple fabric so you can just use felt or normal plush and then add a little pom pom on top or something like that. Once my shape was the right size way round I just stuffed it very lightly and then stitched it shut just using a brown thread to disguise it a little bit. Going back into the yellow plush fabric, I just use a pen to mark out Pom Pom Purin's ear and I just use the hat kind of as a sizing reference. I needed two of these in total so I went ahead and just cut out two rectangles, had the ear shape on them and sewed around on them also. Again, you can stitch this by hand or glue it, but I'm actually gonna take this on my sewing machine just because I think it will be easier for the fact that they are so small. Once sewn, I then just cut off all of the excess fabric and turned it inside out using a pair of tweezers because the entrance was really, really kind of small. I needed something to get inside and pull the fabric the right way around. I find tweezers does a great job at turning little bits of fabric. I then went ahead and took a tiny bit of stuffing and just used a pencil to poke that through the hole just to give it a little bit more dimension at the end. This isn't 100% necessary as the plush fabric is pretty plushy by itself but anyway I did it. I then went ahead and attached the ears to the top of the scrunchie. I just sewed these down really really loosely. Didn't 
you know, make them neat or anything because I knew the hat was going to cover up any of the mess. So I then took the hat and then really carefully stitched this on, covering up all of those raw edges from the ears, encasing them on, and just making sure to get a really neat finish on this one. So I used the same brown color as the beret so that it would disguise a little bit. And I did stitches all the way around really tightly together to make sure it was really secure on there. To make Pom Pom Purin's face, I just took some Tulip Slick Paint in the colour brown. I just squirted a little bit out onto a piece of plastic and then using a dotting tool, I just really carefully popped Pom Pom Purin's face onto the front of the scrunchie. If you're not used to painting with fabric paint on a plush fabric, just take your time, practice makes perfect and honestly, you'll get there in the end. This is the cutest thing ever. I literally love that. How am I gonna get a little face to stick up? There we go, we got it. Keeps tilting forward. But look! Oh my gosh. See, this is how the little cutie turned out as a close-up. I think it's absolutely adorable. This little face on that is so sweet and it works so well as a scrunchie, as I'm sure you would have seen in my hair. And anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!